Hello, it's me, Michelle. I wanted to kick off another new vlog because I've been enjoying vlogging so much lately. It's been a great break from exams. I ended up starting my next nonfiction book for the class I'm taking next semester, The Radicalism of the American Revolution by Gordon S. Wood. I wasn't a huge fan of the introduction. I didn't know if I'd like the writing style or not, but so far I've enjoyed the first chapter. I feel like I'm learning a lot and I haven't made it much farther than that. I also started a new audiobook, the second in the Princess Academy series, Palace of Stone, and I'm really liking that one. I do feel like this one takes the middle grade reading level a little bit more seriously than the other one, and I'm not loving that, but it's still great, still really enjoying that one. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and come along for the ride. Hi, it's been a while, so I wanted to hop on with a few updates. We had another really busy weekend full of Christmassy stuff. We had a friend come over to help make cookies that we're giving out to our friends, and we finished the last of our Christmas shopping, which was great, but I did get a chance to read a good hunk of the radicalism of the American Revolution, actually. I had a six-hour exam on Monday, so I didn't read any that day and I did make a little bit of progress yesterday and I'm hoping to make some more progress right now. I finished the first part yesterday and I started the second part. It's a really slow read. This is definitely more of the traditional nonfiction that I'm used to that's honestly not always my favorite, but it is really well, well written. It's very informative. It's probably just not really my thing, but I'm hoping I can get through a lot of this one at least before Christmas and that'll just help me out next semester. I actually had two audiobook holds come in on Libby, of course, they came in all at once, so I have not been listening to Palace of Stone because I decided to check out Dune and I'm really hoping to finish that before it's due back so that I can watch the new movie. I started that last weekend and I've been listening a little bit every day and actually made good progress. I'm really loving it. I love the style. I love how it throws you right into the sci-fi and the world building. It is a, very political at times and that can be a little bit boring and it is, I'm listening on audiobooks so it can be a little bit confusing but I'm getting it, I really like it, so that's good. And then the other one that came in was Mr. Dickens and his Carol and I just postponed that one because I'm not going to have time to listen to that one. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and read some more of this. Maybe I'll listen to a little bit more of Dune later and that'll be my day. Hello, I'm home. Sorry if this vlog has been a little bit sporadic, but I finished up my last exam on Friday and now I'm back for Christmas. I wanted to hop on and give a quick reading update. I don't think I have anything new to say about the radicalism of the American Revolution. I'm almost done with the second part. It's fine. It's really not my thing. It's very non-fiction-y and that's not my favorite, so I'm making it through that one but I got to listen to a lot of my audiobook, Dune, on the drive home, so I'm actually 70% of the way through, and I'm hoping to finish that because my book is due in five days, so I'm almost done with that one, and today I'm going to the bookstore. My friend and I are doing a book exchange, so I'm going to get her How to Write an Autobiographical Novel by Alexander Chi. I think it'll be perfect. It's a book of essays and they're about writing in New York and she's currently living in New York so I really wanted to get her that one. I also got another Life's Library book so I wanted to show you that real quick. So with the book we got this lanyard. I don't really use lanyards but it's still cool. It's blue. It says Life's Library. The next book we're reading is Rosewater. I don't know who this is by. By Tade Thompson. I love this cover. Again, very Cool. I feel like the trend lately has been to have covers with um, a design and the title really big. And I heard that's because um, for ebooks and audiobooks, the picture is really small, so they want people to be able to see it. They did the themed 
letter with the cover matching. I love that. And I think that these book plates are really cute. Breakfast themed. It's just, I just think this is so cute. Finally, I got some more stickers and these are all Life's Library-esque. So yeah, I really, I really, really like these. Super cute. I finally have more updates. I'm almost done with the radicalism of the American Revolution. I'm so excited. I only have one chapter left, about 25 pages, so I'll probably finish that up after Christmas. There were a couple chapters that I found really interesting that seem very relevant for today, so that was great. This is a really well done book and I do really like it, but it's not my thing and it does take quite some time to read, but it's probably about three and a half stars or maybe four stars for me. I feel like four stars would be generous just because, in my opinion, the readability, it reads kind of like a textbook. But yes, almost done with this one. Very excited. And then I am also almost done with Dune. I have an hour and... 45 minutes, 30-ish minutes left on my audiobook, listening at 1.5 speed. I'm getting a little stressed out because Livy keeps telling me that it's due soon and I know it's due in two days, but I'm going to see the movie tonight with my fiance, so I really want to finish that up today. I did it! I finished Dune before my audiobook was due. I did not finish it before we went to see the movie. I had about an hour left on 1.5 speed. Turns out it didn't matter because I didn't realize the movie was only the first third of the book, so I really didn't need to rush. But I still needed to rush because it was due. But I'm glad that I finished the whole thing. It was really good. I ended up giving it five stars and one of my favorite audiobooks I've listened to by far, and I'm really glad that I'm starting to like audiobooks more because it's a great way to read. I'm going to end this vlog here. It's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!